Hi, I'm Kate, and today I'm watching Breaking Bad Season 2, Episode 13. This is the Season 2 finale. So previously, Walter missed the birth of his daughter. But don't worry, because Ted was there. And Walter seemed really excited about that. But Walter is genuinely excited for the birth of his daughter. I know he truly does love his family in his own Walter way. And it does seem like he's going to be a hands-on dad helping out. Walter successfully pulled off the deal with Gustavo for the meth that they had on hand without Jesse's help. Gus had told Walter that the whole reason he didn't want to do business with him and so easily turned his back on doing business with Walter is because he saw Jesse and you cannot trust an addict. And Walter, who is always very hard on Jesse, tells Gus don't worry, I trust him. And immediately after Walter says this, and we know that he means it, Jesse lets him down. Jesse and Jane have completely fallen off the wagon down the rabbit hole. Jane has introduced Jesse to drugs harder than anything he's ever used before. Jane's dad knows that something is going on with her. She is acting quite differently. He's been through this before with her and her addiction. She's not really showing enthusiasm. She's not making eye contact. She seems to be lying a lot and isn't showing up on time or at all for her meetings. He shows up to Jesse's apartment, the apartment he owns, and he sees exactly what he expected to. He's about to call the police on Jesse, which, in my opinion, was the correct course of action. Um, but Jane somehow talks him into, you could tell she's, she's done this before, and she talks him into just giving them the night to get their affairs in order, and that first thing in the morning she agrees to go back to rehab. I think parents just want to believe the best in their children, even if they've been hurt before. They don't want to believe that their children, who they love very much, would lie to them. Again, even though they, they have lied to them before. So I think he should have followed his original instinct. He should have called the police and given them a rude awakening, but he chose not to. So out of his drug stupor, Jesse realizes that the meth that he was hiding in the kitchen is gone. He does not remember Walt coming and getting it at all and when he calls walter walter says I, I was there i got it and i completed the deal without you jesse asks for his half of the money and walter explains that he's not going to be giving it to him because he needs to get himself together if he gives him this money he's just going to kill himself with drugs which is true if walter didn't care at all for jesse he would have just given him his half of the money and moved on but walter at this point really does truly care about Jesse and I think views him as like a son. When Jane finds out about this money, she is like, I don't even know how to describe it, but she cannot think about anything else other than this money and how it will change their lives, how it will give them freedom. She doesn't have any really money of her own. She does have her part-time jobs, but she works for her father and she stays in an apartment that he pays for. Without her father, she's not going to have anything. And I think she views it as unfair that he has this say over her life where he can make her homeless unless she goes to rehab. He's looking out for her best interests, but under the influence of drugs, that's not really how Jane sees it. And she sees this money as a way to finally be free and not have to worry about needing to follow somebody else's expectations and rules. She can have complete freedom over her own life. So Jane ends up blackmailing Walter, and Walter ends up giving Jesse his half of the money. He goes to deliver it himself, and Jane tries to take it, but Walter refuses and says that he needs to hand it over to Jesse himself. And when he hands it over to Jesse, he tries to be stern with him, and I th think he views this as like his last shot to kind of wake Jesse up and somehow save him. We got that amazing scene with Walter and Jane's dad in the bar. Walter is out getting diapers and Jane's dad has just been dealing with Jane and Jesse. They have no idea that they're connected and they have no idea that they're talking about people that the other one knows. I think they really do give good advice to each other, but at the end of the day, people are going to do what they're going to do. 
and unknowingly giving Walter advice to not give up on a family member we care about signed Jane's death warrant. He signed his own daughter's death warrant and he didn't even know it. Walter shows back up at the house and breaks in trying to wake up Jesse. In the act of doing so, he knocks Jane over. And Jane had made sure to mention with Jesse once they started dealing with heavier drugs that you want to prop yourself up on pillows so that you don't roll onto your back and choke to death. Well, Walter accidentally knocks the pillow out from behind Jane and she falls on her back. She ends up choking and Walter in that moment made a choice and he was trying to choose between saving this woman or I think in his opinion his other choice is that saving Jesse. If Jane's no longer in the picture maybe that will wake Jesse up and get him scare him straight get him back on track but you're sacrificing one person in the hopes of saving another, that that saving of the second person isn't guaranteed. Jesse and Walter's relationship is very interesting. It is a big part of what makes this show so special, is their chemistry as characters and as actors. And thinking about the discovery of Jane in his bed, I was, my eye kept being drawn to Jesse's sheets because they're yellow and they're bright and they're vibrant. And it was just in my mind, an interesting choice for Jesse to make for him to choose like bright yellow sheets for himself. And then it's almost like a very similar yellow to the shirt that Gus wears. I really just did like a cursory Google search of like yellow in film and it, it ranges the gamut. So it represents in film sometimes naivete, which I think is Jesse, but a lot of times it's used to represent knowledge or wisdom, which kind of fits more with Gus. In these last few episodes, we've seen Walter between these two individuals, and I think that's in my mind, I was connecting those two colors as kind of comparing those two characters or contrasting them against each other. Walter has this relationship with Jesse, but where Walter sees himself, how he sees his business and his life evolving, that involves more Gus and working with Gus. It feels as though Walter has had to make a choice between the two and it seems as though he's ready to move along, he's ready to move on with Gus, he needs that distribution, but you can't forget that you'd be nowhere without Jesse. When Walter was talking to Gretchen and he tells her, you know, you made millions of dollars off of my ideas, off of my work. I did the groundwork, I did the hard work, and you guys took that and ran with it to make yourselves wealthy. And I wonder if he also thinks about Jesse in that way, but the opposite. Without Jesse, Walter would never have met Gus. Walter had no idea about selling drugs. He had no idea about dealers. Walter can make the product, but he didn't know the first thing about selling it. Jesse was his only tie to that world. Jesse was the only one that was moving the product, getting it on the streets, getting it known, and making money. And it was Jesse's assistance that allowed Walter to eventually meet Saul, who eventually introduced him to Gus. And so it feels like Walter knows Jesse had a hand in this and did help him. As much as Walter would say, what's the point of you? Like, what do you even do here? He knows the answer to that. So anyways, let's get into the season finale. Are we finally going to get to see this this episode? We're seeing the aftermath of something again. That's right, there's two body bags in the front yard, right? We've seen this before. The teddy bear's the only thing in color. Is that Walt's car? And then, yep, the two body bags. Yeah, it's a pretty big explosion. Oh, and now we're in color. Oh, there's a couple explosions, though, it looks like. Interesting. Because I was going to say, is it the cartel? 
or Walt's materials. But I don't think he would keep anything at home. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, Jesse. Oh God. He's holding his newborn daughter after witnessing the death of somebody else's daughter. It's Jesse, he knows. S slow down, slow, slow down. Now what happened? Walter was preparing for this call. Everything is gonna be okay, I promise. No, no, listen, calm down, sit tight. I know who to call. You know, I just assumed we were gonna be calling the police and Jane's dad was gonna be finding out. I didn't think we'd be handling anything. Who's it? I know him. Saul Goodman sent me. It's Professor Hickey. Where is she? I take it this is a scene he's seen before. So this is a cleanup guy. So what is the plan? Here's your story. You woke up, you found her, that's all you know. Say it please. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. <laughs> Say it. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. Do I need to state the obvious? I was not here. You put on a long sleeve shirt and cover those track marks on your arm. Count down from 20, and then you die. Hang tough. You're in the home stretch. No, it doesn't feel that way to him. Flynn! I'll be there in a minute! <laughs> oh my god, Mom! Dad! Come here! You gotta see this! Ooh, did Saul successfully uh, launder the money? Look right there. Look look at that. Are those donations? <laughs> yes. Total Strangers gave us four, $490. That's... wow. That is something. Walt does not want to give credit to somebody else. He wants well, to be thank proud. You. Thank you is in order of making money for his yes, family absolutely. and providing. Thank you, sir. This is the correct Thank response. You, big, big help. <laughs> hey, if you're trying to sell me something, I've got four little words for you. Do not call this. Oh no. Oh no, he's now, gonna show up the same be time as... I'm on my way, I'm gonna be there momentarily. I expect you on the porch, bag packed, ready oh, to go. She's gonna no be excuses. in a bag, packed. Sir, you may not want to be here for this. Um, I just uh, woke up and uh, I found her. That's all I know. He's gonna kill Jesse. He's gonna kill him. Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> I don't believe it. Wally, you have to see this. Our friend says he thinks everything went well. So, listen, just call me, all right? All right, some of you already know my brother-in-law. He's a good man. <laughs> the doctor's saying this operation has a real chance of helping him. Biggest donation? Get a six-pack of my very own Schrader Brow. <laughs> Home brewed, silky perfection. Let's hope that doesn't explode this time. Christian Ortega. AKA Combo. Shot dead by an unknown assailant last month. This dude was so low rep, he never showed up on our radar. Bueller. Got the blue stuff on yeah, him. Blue sky. Oh, that's right. Not a speck to be found in Albuquerque. Now, why is that? It's maybe your Heisenbergs in prison. Haven't had much luck inside the land of enchantment. But outside, we got reports of the blue stuff making the scene here in Texas, Arizona, Colorado, Nevada. Gus is shipping it out. Almost as if somebody wised up, stopped shitting where they eat. I say Heisenberg's still out there. For four four dollars twenty eight ten yes. <laughs> this is killing him because that's the money he made. Your guy found him. So shut up and give me the address. Jesse. I don't recommend it. APD's been known to sit on this place, keep an eye on the comings and goings. Police could be the least of it. You could just get mugged or shot. How about you go on home, Walter? Let me handle this. Walter now has to face the epidemic he has a hand in. This is what people do with your product. It's actually a good thing he sees this. Jesse, Jesse, look at me, son. Oh, son. I'm good, I'm good. I feel 
I'm really proud of Walter that he showed up to do this, though. <laughs> oh. I killed her and it was me. Look at me. You didn't kill anybody. I loved her more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> we never got to see the inside of Jane's apartment, right? Well, no, she ran through it that one time. Oh, it was so pretty. There's no yellow dress here. When's the last time you saw her ever wearing a yellow dress? Yellow. It's nice. It's nice. Oh. Would you mind turning that thing down or off the dinghy to turn down the volume? Oh my God, you are kidding me. Okay, um, wait, I'm gonna, uh, let me tell him and I'll call you right back. Guess what? What? You are gonna be in the newspaper. One of Aunt Marie's patients works at the journal and when she told him about the website and all the donations, he went to his editor and they're gonna do a story about you. The, it'll, it'll mean more hits. And more contributions. Oh, I don't think... I don't think Walter wants that much attention on it. Gentlemen, this is supervising agent Hank Schrader and Gustavo Fring <laughs> of Los Poyos Hermanos. Please, just Gus. Gotta tell you, you guys make some killer chicken. <laughs> These gentlemen are underwriting this year's fun run, and I thought I would give them a tour. Good to see what you're supporting, he says, with a map filled with little red pins behind him. Now, the group that uh, I supervise focuses on methamphetamine, which uh, is a growing problem in the country, unfortunately. Terrible. This is a great way for Gus to get some information, insider information. Is this one of your agents? It's my brother-in-law. Oh, he's going to see audition. the picture of Walt. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. Oh, hey, hey, hey you, you, don't, you don't have to do that. Please, please, I, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Guess what? They already know each other. Guess what? They're keeping you in your job. <laughs> is this the place that Walter said he went to? Just so you know, I, I won't be back for a while. Can I have my surgery on Friday. I'm hopeful it'll go well, but if not, Saul will take care of things. He's got your money. He's keeping it for you. You put it in a trust. Try and focus on getting better, okay? I deserve this. What you said in the desert, I deserve whatever happens. This guy in Santa could be huge. Oh, oh, there he is. Marie, I, I thought we were just talking about a newspaper story. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, but I thought. Look at how dressed up Marie is. Where did those earrings and necklace come from? How much money have you raised so far? Six, six thousand three hundred and sixty dollars. He's a good man, isn't he? A absolutely. A ask anyone. He's not feeling that way right now. He knows like everything there's to know about chemistry. Sure does. He's he's just decent, and he, he always does the right thing. Would you say he's your hero? Oh yeah, my my dad is my hero. Yeah, but I think Walter's thinking back to that house that he just found Jesse in and feeling a bit responsible for that. A bit responsible for how Jesse's feeling. Walter Jr.'s wearing yellow. <laughs> Relax, Jet. <It's> a matter of fact. <laughs> Where's your phone? Huh? Your cell phone, did you bring it? Which one? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, pr I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't, he didn't bring it, Mom. I used to work for orthopedic surgeons, and I got to see some surgeries, and they just, they go to town. They just hammer away. Well, first things first, how old is that baby now, and when do I finally get to meet her? A picture. The goatee is very full. Uh, how's your pain level, Walter? Uh, it's, it's She's playing well, with her wedding basically. ring. Well, your margins look good. You bought yourself some real time here. So, um, when could he get back to his normal routine? He can ease into it now. Um, but he can be on his own. Ooh, she's ready I mean, to walk. Just more, you know, independent. No, that's good news for you, honey. <laughs> One less baby in the house. Hey, uh, welcome back. We were all so sorry to hear. Doesn't want to talk about. Things. Doesn't want to talk about it. You've been doing okay. I'm doing okay. Why don't we just walk away now? At point, time off doesn't help. Focus on work. To take his mind sure. off things. Absolutely. FEMA 311, contact Albuquerque Center 134.6. Wait a minute. I think I may just keep this. Is this going to come into play right now? Like the explosion at the beginning? The explosion we've been waiting to see? 
What are you doing? He's distracted at work. I'll have the house to yourself for two days. I want you to pack your things and leave. Okay. Can you at least tell me why? Because you're a liar, Walt. Right before your surgery, I asked if you had packed your cell phone, and you said, which one? I was medicated. I mean, I, I, I could have said the world was flat. You know what I think? I think you accidentally told the truth. Your fugue state. I had to believe that, didn't I? You tell me, Skylar. You tell me exactly what it is you think I'm lying about. Because <laughs> you're right and you're wrong. An affair? I'm having an affair. Is that what you think? I am not having an affair with Gretchen. Oh, I know. I know you're not. Because I asked her. It really took me forever to get in touch with her. She was ducking my calls for weeks. I bet she had some more to say. The money for your treatment? Gretchen and Elliot didn't give you a dime. But that didn't make sense because I checked with Del Cavoli in the hospital and, and we're nearly paid up. Over $100,000. Out of where? Out of thin air. Are we going to tell her the truth? I called your mother. It, it turns out that not only is the money not from your mother, she didn't even know that you have cancer. Lies on top of lies. Skylar. Well, at least Skylar and the baby are getting out of there before anything bad happens. If I tell you the truth, will you stay? No, oh, something bad's gonna happen, let him go. Stay, and I will tell you everything. Whatever it is, I'm afraid to know. Well, hopefully they're safe, because at the beginning we saw fire and smoke in different areas. Wait for a 515 radio check. Jane, Mike, 2 one Jane. turn heading. Disregard. Wayfair, 515, descend to 1, 0, So I'm gonna assume those two bodies in the body bags are from the planes that just collided. Oh, there's the teddy bear. Oh, that means there's a child on the plane. This episode seemed to be all about the ripples and the effects of Walter's actions. How we saw the map that Hank had and explaining how the, they call it now blue sky, has been finding its way to surrounding states and cities and no longer in New Mexico at all. It's not affecting them, but we see the ripples and its presence spread out from us. And that is true with Walter. That's what we see. His actions have some serious consequences. Walter gets to hold his newborn baby, his newborn baby girl, while Jane's father is watching Jane, his baby girl, be zipped up into a body bag. Jane took the drugs. Jane made the choice. But she met Jesse because of Walter. She had fallen because Walter touched the pillow. He didn't intend to do that on purpose and kill her, but in his actions of trying to wake up Jesse, it was a, it was a ripple effect. And then that teddy bear we see. I was keeping an eye out for that teddy bear this season, waiting to see if it would be the baby, Holly's, waiting to see somebody give it as a gift or pick it up in the, the hospital gift shop or whatever. And we see that it was from the planes that collided. So I had, Walter took away a lot of people's children. And then, of course, going and finding Jesse in that drug flop house. Walter had to see all those people. He is creating those. He is supplying those people. Maybe not here in Albuquerque anymore, but in the surrounding states, like I said, it, it his actions have ripples. And now he's just had too many lies at this point. Too many things he's been trying to clean up. We even have, we have a professional, we have Professor Hickey here to uh, clean up our messes. And I, his face looks very familiar. I, I have a feeling he, I believe he is in this show as well as Better Call Saul. So I don't know anything else. Like, I know he's in these shows, but I don't know what his story arc is or how long he's with us. So I'm, I was excited to get his character introduced. I loved him in Community, so I'm excited to see. I know he's better known for, for Breaking Bad, so I'm excited to see him in this role. 
but yeah, Walter has too many messes to clean up, too many loose ends, and it all kind of collided, came to a head in this episode. I'm sorry I am forgetting his name in this show, but Professor Hickey, he tells Jesse, you know, we're in the home stretch, we're almost there, and that's kind of like how it is for Walter in this episode too. We're almost there. He's getting his surgery. The money laundering scheme is working even though it rubs him the wrong way. And as he's going into surgery, all doped up, he answers Skylar when she asks, where's your cell phone? He says, which one? And again, the ripple effect of that. It reaffirmed in her head that there was a second cell phone. It brought up all the suspicions. And what, it, was, it was several weeks. It was about five weeks, four or five weeks, about a month um, after the surgery that we see them following up at the doctors with the surgeons. He looks great. And Skylar looks very agitated, spinning her ring on her finger. And we find out that she's been, Detective Skylar's been hard at work. She found out that Gretchen was never giving him money, that he has been paying his hospital bills in full, his mom, he never visited his mom, she didn't even know he had cancer, and she tells Walter, I'm afraid to know where you're getting this money from. And honestly, completely fair, and she's completely right. I thought there maybe for a second that he was going to tell Skylar the truth. Then Jesse, you know, we left him off in rehab, who knows how long he's going to be there, if it's going to work, what's going to happen from here. But Walter seems committed and guilty. I think it's a, I think it's a combination of guilt and love for Jesse that is keeping him going. And he truly does care about seeing him get better. And I don't know, maybe I was onto something with that yellow because... Obviously, yellow is just a popular color, however, and my favorite color. However, when Jane's father is looking for a dress for the funeral, he's looking specifically for a yellow dress. And then, right before going into surgery, I think that w uh, this was more a uh, coincidence. I, I don't know if it's really tied into anything, but Walt Jr. wearing the yellow shirt. Although he's, you know, the naivete, like I said, it could mean naivete because Walt Jr. has no idea what's going on between his parents. He has no idea what's going on in his father's life. He has no idea where this money is coming from. But overall, a great season finale. I did think that Gus being in the office was going to see the map and maybe realize that he was being caught onto, but I assume that's why he's a donor. That's why he's in the office to begin with because he's it's, it's better to be closer to the danger so you can see if they're zeroing in on you. Yeah, great season finale. I really enjoyed it. And I will see you in episode one of season three.